Hey guys, this is RFID module in the role of the client and this is desktop C Sharp application in the role of the server. When I come near with the card, module will detect the presence of the card and send the number of card over the Wi-Fi network to the server. And server will, in the text box, show the received number of the card. Stay with me if you want to learn something new and want to know what type of architecture is hidden beside this project. And welcome back. Here I have Visual Studio where I will click on create new project and then I will choose Windows Form .NET Framework. For the name of project I will go with RFID Server. After the project is ready for further work I will open Nougat console and install simple HTTP package. I recommend to install version 1.0.6 because that is version I will go to use in this video. If you want, you can watch video about this library on my channel. I will leave a link in the description down below. Ok, after the package is installed, I will rename form1 into main form and then add few components on the form. First two controls are labels in which I will write the address of the server. On the form, I'm gonna to add rich text box as well in which I will write received RFID card tags. Ok. Right click on the form and then click on view code. First I will paste helper method for getting local IP address. Now I will define the port of the server and assign the value 1337 to it. In the constructor of the form class I will attach correct value to the address label and after that on the show event call server initialization method. Let's import simple HTTP namespace and then in the initialization method let's call listen sync method over the static HTTP server class which will start the server. What is left to do is to define the route on which we will send RFID cards. Route will have value slash log and for now this route will just return message ok. For the route method I will go with post. Ok, let's see what we have so far. I will start application and we can see that server is start at IP address 192.168.0.104 and on the port 1337. With the use of postman I will send post request on this address and we can see that server has returned message ok, as we expect. Cool. Let's now define request body in the form of JSON with the single property name tag which will contain number of RFID card. As we know that client will send request in JSON form, let's now on the server side receive and parse that request. First I will create stream reader object with UTF-8 encoding and the whole content of the stream I will assign to the variable JSON. Then, with the help of static method deserialize object defined on the top of the class JSON convert, let's convert JSON string content into object log request. Now I will create log request class with the single string property tag. Now when we have received tag of the card, we can append them to the textual field. In the text field I will append one extra break line. Ok. Open now postman again and send the same request with the tag. Now we can see that server has received the tag and append them to the textual box. With this our server is successfully coded and ready for further work. Code for the ESP32 is written in the Lua programming language and as you can see it is made up out of only 40 lines of code. Here I have used RFID32 library and link to the dedicated video about this library you can find in the description down below. Ok, as you can see here is properties of my Wi-Fi network and here is address of RFID server. I need to mention that for the proper work of this application you need to open port in your PC firewall. So go to control panel and then open firewall settings. Go to advanced settings. Choose inbound rules and click on new rule. Choose port and type 1337. Choose allow connections. Apply for all network listed here and click next. 
for title you can write 1337 as well and click on finish start the server and let's send few RFID cards that's it if you like this video do not forget to like it and subscribe to my channel till the next time see ya